And I want to do, uh, we're going to start with some shin box flossing. I want to floss through the hips. So I want to imagine that there's a piece of string attached to my knees, one knee to the other knee, really the, the insides of both knees. So as I lift one knee up, it's okay to have hands on the ground on this, is if I lift one knee up as high as it'll go, at some point it puts tension in that floss. And I want to maintain that tension as I allow that other, that other knee starts to get lifted up and I go all the way to the other side. Once that other knee drops down, I lose the tension, this comes down, my other knee comes to the floor, and then going right back. Find that tension, and then we're gonna floss through. I'm maintaining this tension by continuing to keep this other knee opened in the opposite direction as long as I can. And see how that feels flossing through the hips. Nice and slow, moving back and forth. And now we're gonna to start to add to this. So as I floss all the way across, feeling that nice opening stretch, once my knee comes to the ground, I wanna get into my anterior hip. So I'm gonna reach through that back knee, seeing if I can move that hip bone forward. Can you feel that stretch through the front of the hip? Then you can soften it and floss to the other side, doing the same thing. Then reaching that knee, move that hip forward. How does that hip feel? We've already done a good amount of anterior hip mobility, so I'm assuming that that should feel pretty good. Uh, probably more mobile than if we started here. And we'll go back and forth a good five, up to 10 times. I may stick with five just to kind of stay, try to maintain not going over the hour at least not too much over the hour. I'm gonna do one more going back and forth and then we're gonna go add something else in. So now as I come back across, instead of working that anterior hip, now I wanna look at, can I come up in uh, shin box to knees? I always want to use my hands the first time doing shin box to knees to make sure it doesn't hurt my knees. So I'm going to use hands to kind of ones behind, ones in front to help guide me up to my knees, making sure I don't go into pain. Can I get up nice and tall and even get that little scoop to feel a little bit of nice stretch in the front of the hips? And then use the hands to guide down to make sure that's not painful. And then we're going to floss our way to the other side and do the same thing. I want to go slow on this, mainly because I want to avoid going, uh, triggering some pain in the knees. And so now, if that was, um, if you were able to do that, but there's some sensitivity in the knees, it's okay to continue to use the hands on this uh, and that's where I would recommend being. If you can do this without pain, now we're gonna see if we can do this without hands. So that felt good on my knees. Now I wanna drive through my knees to lift my hips up to the ceiling or up to off the floor. And then on the way down, I don't wanna just drop my hips down. I wanna reach my hips back. I wanna see how far, so if I go down, this is where my hips come. If I reach back, I'm seeing how far back can I re get my hips to go before they touch the ground. As they kiss the ground, I'm gonna pop, pop right back up. And I'm even using my hands to counterbalance so that I can reach back even further. The further back I reach, the more stretch I feel in that, uh, that glute of the front hip. I, that's, that's kind of what I'm seeking is, can I feel that stretch? Can I move into it? It's a nice eccentric stretch, so it's gonna feel like work as well as a stretch. And I'm gonna keep this one to about five reps to start with, with each one seeing if I can reach back a little further. And then we're gonna floss all the way across to the other side. 
and do the same thing. Popping up to the hip, knees, get that nice stretch on the front of the hips, and then reaching back as far back as you can, as far back as you can, and then popping right back up. And with each one, see if you can reach back a little bit further. Can you feel that stretch in that glute a little bit more? And this is my right knee that has been, that is kind of chronically swollen at this point from all the time I'm on the basketball court. It's a lot harder for me to get into that glute stretch on this knee. There it is, now I'm starting to feel it. And we'll floss all the way back across. 